So, today's lesson is process monitoring and control. The process has to be monitored. Why do you need to monitor it? The idea behind monitoring is to make sure that whatever the process is supposed to do, it is fulfilling those objectives. We are not producing material which is not acceptable. At the same time, we have to see that the machine is working with full efficiency and therefore, we need monitoring of the machines or the process. So, what are the different monitoring techniques that we have? What exactly we monitor? There are process alarms. We will discuss about them. There are production data capturing systems. That is, we capture the production related data. So, there are suitable sensors for that. And then also the machine will check the quality of the product that it is making, that is the sliver. So, these three informations we get from the monitoring systems. There are alarms when something goes wrong, there are production data that we collect that the machine is collecting and is also checking the quality of the product that is sliver. The first thing is monitoring of sliver count and count variations. So, the there are inbuilt sensors within the machine which will continuously check the count of the sliver and at the same time it will also make sure that the count variation remains within a certain limit. In case it goes outside the limit, the machine will be stopped automatically. So, count is continuously monitored and the data is recorded on a chart hourly or daily mean values of the count will be displayed on a display board. So, any time a person can come and check what is the average count on an hourly basis or a daily basis, this data is very helpful. Percentage deviations from the nominal count if at all is there that also will be recorded and the mean percentage deviation of sliver count for the entire shift is also provided per delivery. Generally, machines will be having two delivery machine, two deliveries and for both the deliveries all these informations will be available. On the right hand side, a table has been given, it is Citra norms and these gives you an idea the what sort of variation is expected in a drawn sliver as we change the wrapping length and what is considered to be good average and poor. So, the table gives you an idea and what we find it that for 0.5 millimeter wrapping length, the CV or that is coefficient of variation is going should be between 2 to 3. If it is 2, it is very good, 2.5 average and 3 is poor. Similarly, for 1 meter, the values are 1.75, 2.5 and 2.75. These are CV percentage values and the last column is when the wrapping length is 5 meter, the corresponding values are 1.25, 1.5 and 1.75. So, what we see here that the C B percentage values first of all decreases as we increase the wrapping length. As we increase the length of the sliver that is chosen for measuring the weight, the wrapping C B goes down because there is an averaging effect. 
So, this is just an idea about the count of uh, the range of CVs which is acceptable. The system can also collect or gather production data. What are those production data which are relevant to us? Information related to running and ideal condition of the machine. This information will be available. So that how long the machine was idle and how long the machine actually worked, that information is available. Second is stoppages and reason for such stops. Is how many times the machine stopped, could not produce and what are the reasons for those stops. Like as an example, I can say that the one of the reason for stoppages could be creel breaks. What is creel break? Creel break means the sliver in the creel breaks due to whatever reason and whenever there is a sliver break in the creel, the machine will automatically stop. So, there are sensors, it will sense that there is no sliver there and it will automatically stop the machine, so that we do not produce a thin region in the sliver. The other reason for stoppages could be also because of roller lapping, we will discuss about them in details later on. The rollers, bottom rollers, top rollers get wrapped with fibers and this is something which is very dangerous and we should immediately stop the machine. So, stoppages could be these two reasons and could be due to many more, we will come to that. The other thing is efficiency is calculated based on actual learning time. So, efficiency values also we get directly, this is also a part of production data. It automatically calculates the efficiency that are inbuilt computer which will do this job for us and also the can doffing time, this data also will be available. So, these are the production related data which is important from the point of view of monitoring the production from a particular machine. The next is count alarm. A count alarm actuates when the count of the sliver being produced goes beyond a predecided tolerance value. But we do not want to produce a count which is too thin or a count which is too thick, both are not good for us. So, there is a count alarm system, it will sense the count, the average count of the yarn, it will calculate and whenever it goes beyond a certain tolerance over a pre-selected length. This length is also we can select, it could be 10 meters, it could be 30 meters, it could be 300 meters. So, suppose if set 30 meter is this length and we set a value that is 25 percent. So, the moment the weight of 30 meter pieces will go beyond 25 percent of the nominal weight of 30 meter, there will be an alarm and the machine will stop. The idea is that we should not produce defective sliver. What are the reasons for count alarm? They are mentioned here, incurrent count of feed material, that is the sliver that we are feeding is not of right count due to whatever is the reason that can set the count alarm. The roller lapping of front rollers, whenever there is a little wrapping going on over a certain period of time, what happens? That part of the material is not flowing and it is getting wrapped slowly and slowly and it may be sucked by the suction system. So, there is a minor wrapping going on as well as the suction system which is there just above the 
drafting unit of the draw frame is sucking out those fibers. And therefore, what will happen? The saliva that I am going to produce, which will not be of right count. Hence, this can lead to change in count, make the saliva finer and therefore needs to be monitored and whenever it goes beyond a certain tolerance, the system should indicate that to an alarm, so that the persons who are working there, they can take necessary actions. Missing saliva or feed of extra saliva, as I said there could be krill breaks or the saliva might have exhausted from a particular can, hence there could be a missing saliva or wrongly one might feed an extra saliva. So, that will also lead to uh, ultimately count alarm, excessive count variation due to whatever reasons that is because of mostly it is because of the feed material going wrong. Incorrectly set or defective auto levelers. Auto levelers we have not yet discussed, we will discuss in future lectures. So, if the auto leveler is not set properly or if it is defective, its sensing devices are not working properly due to whatever is the reason, maybe because of excessive humidity, maybe because of dust deposition, maybe because of temperature variation near the sensors. In those situations, the auto level at itself will malfunction and will produce a wrong count of saliva. So, that can also lead to problem. And the last one is, is incorrect draft, that the draft that we have set, maybe that is not correct. Due to something going wrong with the calculation, the draft that has been set may be wrong and therefore, we may be producing a saliva which is not of right count. So, these are the various reasons and once we identify a particular reason, we should take appropriate actions. The other one is irregularity alarm. So, what is irregularity alarm? That it acts when the saliva mass irregularity exceeds the decided limit. So, we have seen from the Citra norm that these are the, there are the count limits. There are CV percentage limit of short length of fiber, short length of saliva or there are U percentage values of saliva. So, these values also can be set in advance and once the material or the dry levered saliva is exceeding these limits, the irregularity alarm will be set in. The time during which the limit has to be exceeded is set at 1 minute. So, the mass irregularity should not go beyond a certain limit. Reasons of such alarm that is when the alarm will be there, imperfect setting of the drafting elements. In the drafting elements, the settings are going wrong due to some reasons or setting was correct, the material which is flowing in has changed, mixing might have changed, which has not been noticed. In that case, lot of irregular will be generated because of the short fibers or the floating fibers present there and this may lead to too much of irregular into the saliva. Defective machine parts, that is the rollers or the trumpet or some other parts of the machine which is driving the rotating elements, if there is something wrong with them due to some reason, then also irregularities will be generated in the saliva. Roller lapping is also a source of irregularity in the saliva, especially when the lapping is not continuous in nature, but is sometimes happening, sometimes not happening. In those situations, the saliva which will be produced will be of will be highly irregular because sometimes the mass is there, sometimes the mass of material is not there because of lapping. 
and sucking away the partially left part. So, in this situation the irregularity alarm may also act. Pearly suction of feed sliver. This is also possible, the feed saliva may be suctioned off because of the suction system which is there on the drafting unit. If it is too powerful, it will suck away many fibers from the drafting zone. Defective auto levelers, as I said earlier also, the auto levelers may be defective due to many, many reasons are there and that can instead of then leveling this saliva, the auto leveler creates an irregular saliva. So, it does a job which is not is supposed to do. And in case there is insufficient number of doublings, sometimes in the industry this thing happens. As has been told to you that generally we follow a doubling which is 6 to 8, which could be 6 doublings, 7 doublings or 8 doublings. But sometimes due to some contingency in the industry, we feed 4 slivers or 5 slivers instead of 6 or 7 because cans may not be available due to some reasons the carding machine is not producing the cans that we need to fit to the draw frame, but we still we have to run the machine. In such situations when the number of doubling goes down, the irregularity also will increase because we know that doubling has a very beneficial effect on the evenness of the saliva that we produce. The other alarm is a spectrogram alarm. What is spectrogram? Spectrogram is a representation of periodic mass variation in saliva, where the x axis in the diagram that you see on the right hand side, it indicates the wavelength and the y axis is the intensity of the wave. What happens? That if there is a periodic mass variation in this liver, then such kind of graph is made available by the monitoring device which is there on the draw frame. And this gives a plot wavelength versus intensity. And in this plot, if we see any chimney or a hill as shown in the blackened part of the diagram. If you see the dark part of the diagram, you see it looks like a chimney sometimes or it looks like a small hill. This indicates presence of strong periodic variation at that wavelength. Wherever I find a peak corresponding to that peak, whatever wavelength we read on the x axis at that wavelength a periodicity is getting generated, periodicity in the mass per unit length of the saliva is getting generated. So, whenever such thing happens, the machine immediately gives an alarm and the persons or the operator or the engineer working there will be aware of this and he will stop the machine and he will try to find out what has gone wrong with the machine. So, this is what is known as spectrogram alarm. The reasons for spectrogram alarm, defective rotational part of the machine such as eccentric drafting rollers, it could be bottom rollers, it could be top rollers, worn out bearings of the rollers, it could be gears and there are some more reasons. These are the some of the reasons which can result in spectrogram alarm. Incorrectly coiled saliva at the previous process, the coiling action of the saliva in the previous process, if it is a breaker draw frame, that the breaker draw frame stage, or it could be carding machine, the carding machine stage. So, whenever you produce a saliva there, if something goes wrong with the coiling action or the laying action of the saliva coils, it can also lead to such kind of periodicity in the saliva. Comb bar piecing, once you learn about the comb bar machine, 
you will see that the combing machine produces slivers by joining the comb fringes. Once you study the combing machine, you will see that or you will be knowing that in that particular machine, the comb fringes are overlapped so as to make a sliver. So, wherever there is overlapping, the mass is more there and hence there is a periodicity in the weight per unit length of the final sliver that we produce on combing machines. This point will be you know, discussed in more details when you learn about the combing process. Damaged cut clothing also could be a source of spectrogram. Some quads, let us say, on the cylinder are damaged. Said some part points, maybe over an area of 2 square inch or 3 square inch, whatever it is, either on cylinder or on doffer some wires are damaged due to whatever it is. Maybe some nails have gone into the machine and it has damaged the wire points. That is what sometimes happens that some metallic part gets into the flow of fibers and these metallic parts moves. This remains undetected and in case if it reaches the carding zone, then the danger is there because this will damage the wire points of the flat or cylinder or doffer. So, whenever a large number of wire points gets damaged, then it can lead to generation of irregularity into this fiber because at that region fibers will not be deposited because they are not in a position to hold the fibers. So, there will be little reduction in mass and for every revolution a mass reduction will be there in the delivered sliver from the carding machines. And the other one is disturbance in auto leveler, auto leveler itself can also lead to uh, this kind of problem. As I said here in this table some uniformity, uniformity values of the sliver are shown. This is u percentage values. You have to learn what is u percentage or what is cb percentage. These two are statistical no, units or parameters to express the variability in a sliver. So, some idea of the uniformity values are shown in this particular table and if you go through that, you will see that cut sliver, good cut sliver should have a u percentage value 3.5 to 377. The moment we drawn, that is we pass it through the draw frame, the values will come down to 2.25 to 2.5. Why it is coming down? Because there is doubling action on draw frame and hence the cut sliver values it will higher, but the drawn sliver values has gone down. That means, the uniformity has improved. In the cone sliver, the value is if you see 3.3 to 3.5, it is little more. This reason of this being little more for comb sliver is because of the piecing actions in the combing process. causes of very high sliver irregularity and what could be the remedies. So, this sliver irregularity is irregularity over a very short length. So, what are the reasons? One is the drafting wave which we have discussed earlier due to wide roller setting, worn out bearing. So, if the wave generation is more, then that could be very high irregularity. So, remedies is adjust roller setting appropriate to fiber length or adjust the brake draft. The brake draft is very sensitive 
draft. The front draft is not so sensitive. So, we have to very take very, we have to be very careful about choosing the brake draft and the setting in the back zone. The combination of brake draft and back zone setting is what is most important to control the uniformity of the sliver. The other thing is roller slip. So, roller slip could be also be a source of problem. Generally, with the modern machine, this roller slip problem is not there because the groove design has improved over the years and the kind of pressure that we apply on the top rollers is much higher than what we used to keep earlier. Piecing wave already has been told to you also could be a source of this problem. In that case, phasing out of the piecing wave by adjusting the distance the sliver travels from condensing trumpet to draw box. This point you will not understand now unless you have an understanding of the combing process. So, when you will study the combing process in details, the machine, the combing machine you will be able to appreciate this point much better. The other thing is wrong tension draft at the creel or the wave draft. So, many a times in the industry we ignore this tension draft or at the creel or the wave draft, it is draft between the candle roller and the front rollers. Sometimes we feel these are small draft hardly matters, why to bother, but these are also equally important. Sometimes they are not set properly, they are not as per the requirement of the mixing and this can lead to also irregularities in the sliver. Roller lapping also has been told to you that there are many reasons for lapping and to remedy is adjust the front roller speed. If when you find the incidence of lapping has increased too much, the immediate solution is reduce speed. With the reduction in speed, we are redu reducing production also. This we have to remember that any time if we play with the speed, we are also especially the front roller speed, that means the production is getting affected. But in case we cannot control roller lapping, we have to resort to this particular action or you play with the roller pressure. We can reduce the roller pressure if that is permitted. We can try that. We can change the cord hardness. If the cord flattens a lot, then chances of fiber getting attached to the cord will increase because there will be a large surface area of contact. Harder cords will flatten less under pressure and therefore, the chances of lapping will be less there. And the other one is static generation, especially this is the problem with synthetic fibers, not with cotton. So, static generation will be there with synthetic fibers only. So, we can also try to reduce the generation of static and what to do? We have to check the relative humidity. First thing, if that does not work, we have to reduce speed in order to reduce the intensity of the friction between the two fibers or we have to add additional spin finish to the material. So, these are the various options that we have and we can take one of those actions and try to reduce the lapping tendency in the case of synthetic fibers. Fiber shedding, fibers may be shedding from the edges of the rollers or from the edges of the wave that we create in front of the front rollers. So, the shading could be because of humidity is not correct. So, we have to see whether the humidity in the drawing room is as per the suggestions or as per the norm or not. Too less humidity will lead to lot of fiber shading. Similarly, static generation in the case of synthetic fibers can also lead to fiber shading. Defective auto leveler, 
when you discuss about auto label error, we will discuss about this point. The auto label errors may be defective and therefore, also it can lead to high cyber irregularity. Insufficient number of doublings, this point also is has been discussed earlier. That is generally we are supposed to give 8 doubling for carded count, 8 doubling for single passage combed count and 6 doubling for double passage combed count. So, we should not reduce the doubling because of want of material that you know, tendency we have to avoid. Incorrect trumpet size, the trumpet is another very you know, interesting part of the machine and generally its importance is ignored. It is just like a funnel as has been you know, discussed earlier, but because the material is passing through the trumpet at very high velocity and it is trying to compact the saliva. Therefore, if the size of the trumpet is incorrect, not appropriate to the mass or unit length of the saliva or to the density of the fiber that you are processing. If the saliva is very voluminous, in that case you have to change or choose an appropriate trumpet which will depend upon two things, count of saliva and type of material that we are processing. Sometimes what happens that people ignore this and they have switched from one type of fiber to another type of fiber. Suppose they are processing viscose rayon and then switched on to polyester and they might have forgotten to change the trumpet bore. In that case, you may face such problem or you have changed the saliva count due to some reason, but we have not changed the trumpet bore. In those situations, it can lead to irregularity in the saliva because there will be difficulty for the fibers to pass through smoothly through the trumpet board and it will lead to generation of irregularity. The other things are defective machine parts that is own gear wheels, bracket, own top roller bushes, eccentric rollers. Time to time therefore, we need to check whether the gear wheels, brackets are worn out or not. So, during maintenance, these wheels need to be checked and whenever we find that they are worn out, we have to replace them because they could be also a source of irregularity into the saliva. So, there is a contribution coming from the machine parts, the process parameters and the fibers, the fiber parameters, all of them can have some influence on the irregularity. The other one is count C B. Count C B of saliva counts are generally is based on 5 yard or 5 meter of saliva and some data was shown earlier about the norm of count C B. The reasons are incorrect count of feed material, roller lapping also we have discussed, missing or extra feed saliva, completely or partly suctioned of feed saliva. This is possible in the drafting zone only. Excessive count variation could be also because of the malfunctioning of the auto levelers. That is something going wrong with the auto leveler or part of the wave missing both for carding machine as well as for draw frame. If in case the part of the wave is missing due to some reasons and uh, then also it can lead to um, irregularity into the saliva. So, this is also true for carding machine. Periodic mass variations we have already shown in one case that either a hill or a chimney can be seen in the spectrogram. There is another spectrogram which is shown here and in this spectrogram we find a very beautiful chimney type. That means, where this chimney of the peak is there, 
we have to find out what is the corresponding wavelength here. The wavelength value we have to read from here and you will say at this wavelength the periodic mass variation is getting generated. So, wavelength of the periodic variation originating from a faulty roller is pi d z where d is the roller diameter z is the drop from faulty part to the point where the slide wire leaves the machine. This is we have to remember one particular roller if it is defective if it is centric let us say the wavelength that we generate is, is equivalent to pi d that is the circumference of the roller. But this defect that it is generating creating there can get further extended by the draft by the subsequent draft. If that draft happens to be d or sorry z in this case then the wavelength will be stressed z times. So, pi d into z that is going to be the final wavelength of the periodic variation. So, once we know the wavelength at which we are getting a peak, we will try to calculate the, the wavelength at which it has originated. So, periodic variations if we try to find out the reasons defective rotating parts which are those parts it could be eccentric rollers, worn out gears, bent bottom rollers, too deep meshing of gears everything can, can lead to periodic variations. So, change those parts or rectify those parts incorrectly coil sliver at previous process this was also discussed earlier that coiling mechanism is such that there is something wrong there and uh, it can lead to like the gap between sliver coil uh, and the inside of the can should be 8 to 10 millimeter. Now, if this gap is not maintained properly when you lift the sliver from the can then the sliver may touch the inner wall of the can and when it is touching the inner wall of the can there is a frictional resistance and it will lose some fibers there, it will lose some forces, additional force is required to lift the sliver. So, the sliver might get stretched little bit. So, that may occur in a periodic manner which will lead to periodic variation in the final drafted sliver. So, maintaining a gap between the inner wall of the can and the sliver coil is also very important and that should be roughly between 8 to 10 mm. Disturbance in auto levelers, oscillations we will also discuss this when we discuss auto leveler and piecing also we have discussed earlier. Running performance characteristics that is first thing is the roller lapping there is a too much incidence of roller lapping. So, the lapping is there the, the sensor will be able to detect it and the machine will stop. So, what are the causes of roller lapping worn roller covering that is the covering of the top rollers which are made from made of synthetic rubbers these coverings have got damaged there may be cracks on the covering. In that case grind the roller surface or replace it if necessary. Damaged fluids the bottom roller fluids are damaged then in that case we have to replace the roller and the damage is because of sometimes some metallic part might have passed through and it might have damaged the fluids. Scratches on calendar roller we have to remove the scratch and we have to polish it. Excessive top roller pressure reduce the pressure, inadequate suction in the pneumophile improve the suction, improper humidity in that case adjust humidity, too high humidity may lead to lapping, excessive trash in feed material, improve cleaning at card and blow room. If the feed material trash is too much this trash get crushed and it can help in facilitating lapping of fibers around the roller. 
honeydew with cotton is something very, very dangerous. If there is honeydew in cotton, lapping will be always there and there is, is very, very difficult to control. So, we have to what we can do either we while buying cotton we should avoid we should check the cotton to see whether any honeydew is there or not or in case it is already there then mix honeydew cotton with normal cotton and then process it. Otherwise there will be tremendous processing problem starting from carding to draw frame to speed frame to ring spinning and all the processes will have problem related to sticking of fibers on the machine parts. Honeydew is going to stick, it acts like a glue. Irregular selvage of the drafted wave. The drafted wave which is coming out from the front rollers they can have an irregular selvage. Spread of fiber at the feed is excessive or damaged roller fluids, excessive pneumatic pressure, these are the reasons for irregular selvage. And what are the remedies also have been mentioned in the table, these are very obvious. So, we have to replace the rollers, reduce pressure as once we detect that this is the reason, then we will take the appropriate remedies also. Slyber breaks in the creel, all of these performance characteristics is going to affect the efficiency of the machine and may sometimes also increase the irregularity value of the slyber. So, slyber breaks in creel, why the slyber will break? One is improper piecing at the back process. Sometimes whenever the sliver breaks due to some reason, we join the sliver to ends of the sliver. Now, if this joining is not correct, the overlapping is not proper, then it may lead to sliver breaks in creel because the broken ends of the sliver have not been joined properly. Sliver, another thing is thin region in sliver due to partially or missing wave. In the feed sliver that could be thin regions. Why there should be thin regions? Because part of the wave might be missing, much of the card wave. Why? Because card clothing was they were damaged. It was also discussed earlier that the clothing of this of the cylinder or the doffer might get damaged and in the damaged regions the fibers are not be there, it will be devoid of fibers and therefore, whenever that part of the wave is moving out of the machine, we will have a region which will be hollow, there is no fibers there. So, that particular section of the sliver is going to be little thinner. Wider trumpet size, the trumpet is too wide, that means the sliver is not getting compressed properly, and hence the sliver will not be strong enough, and therefore, while lifting the sliver from the can, the sliver might break. The other thing is inadequate humidity, is especially true for cotton, the humidity is not good then the cohesion between the fiber will be less and the sliver will be weak and therefore, the sliver will break. So, therefore, maintenance of right humidity in the entire spinning plant is actually very, very important both for natural fibers and also man-made fibers, whether I am processing cotton or viscose rayon or polyester or a blend of them, humidity has to be maintained properly. This can also give us lot of trouble. With this, we close this process monitoring and control. Thank you.